we're using an LDR or a light dependent resistor or some call it a photoresistor that powers on when it detects light. Now let's get this wired up and see the glow in action. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. We're gonna need a few items for this build. We're gonna need an LED or a wired LED with a resistor in it. We're either gonna need quick connects or some solder to solder the joints together and I'm gonna show you how to do both. We're gonna need a connector for our battery and our battery. And we're going to need a photoresistor. And if you do solder, a helping hand is one of the best things you could use. So we're gonna just twist these wires together first. We're gonna take our soldering iron and we're just gonna put a drop of solder on it. If you're interested in learning how to solder, I have a video on my channel that shows the basics. I'll put a link in the description. Now that that is soldered, and we can see we got a good strong joint, we're gonna just keep going around and we're gonna solder all the wires. Okay. Now we have everything wired. So we have our LED which is connected to our photoresistor, which is connected to our battery. So let's put our battery in. And you see it lit up as soon as the battery even touched it. So we can see here the LED is bright. As soon as we cover it up, it starts dulling. So if we completely cover it, just grab something to cover it with. But if we completely cover it up, we just find something and we block out all the light. We see the LED goes completely dark. And once again, we open up this photoresistor to the light and it lights up. Now this is sort of the way your refrigerator works. It's super handy for projects you need to respond to natural or artificial light. 